here Frank and I are walking with our skis. But as you can see, there's no snow around. Well, what we're about to be doing is skiing those. We are going to be skiing sand dunes. We are wearing our ski boots. I am too. And we have quite a hike ahead of us because for some reason, no one thought it was a good idea to put a ski lift on the sand dunes. I don't know why. It might be really popular. It might have to do something to the fact that we are a hundred miles away from any civilization anywhere. I really hope we don't crash. <laughs> um, but we're gonna hike up. Uh, my guess is it's gonna take like one to two hours, maybe less. It doesn't look that bad. Uh, we're gonna have to pick a mountain because there's a couple dunes we can choose. We're gonna have to pick one and then go with it. You have any preferences, Frank? Yeah, I'm looking at that one, the one in the middle. The big one, right? Yes. Yeah, he likes the tallest one right there. You can see right over the trail. So I guess I'll get back to you when we either get to the top or we take a break or something like that. Here I am at the top of the sand dune. Frank is down there. You can see him, that's him right there. Oh my gosh. That was an hour and a half of just hiking with the ski boots and skis and backpack. But wow, it is awesome up here. We are about 600 feet above the bottom. Maybe good skiing is like 400 feet, which on a normal ski run is very little but I think it's gonna be interesting since this is not a normal ski run and there's no snow. Frank's almost up here. I think we're gonna take a break and relax for a minute. I definitely am. I've been up here for a few minutes. But I definitely think the view is worth it. Just look at that. So cool. I think there have been very, very few people who have skied down a sand dune and almost nobody has skied down this sand dune. Wow. It's good training though. Good training, good exercise. You want me to come grab your skis? Yes? You want me to come down and grab your skis? Good training. How are you? He's good. We're almost there. You can see there's a, mo a monument up there now, a marker. <laughs> the Everest. The Everest. Yeah, Tom's getting ready on his skis. Let's tighten these up. Yeah, we got this. Here we go. Go straight! Straight down! It's not fast, you're fine. You'll find yourself going really slow, it's all right. You can do it. Just pretend like it's normal snow. Come to me. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, he's back. 
That's so awesome. Come down. I know. What are you doing? <laughs> what a pro showing off. Here he comes. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. That's wild, dude. Oh. So what do you have to say, Frank? How was that experience? <laughs> That's so wild. That is so wild. Oh my gosh. Oh. The guys in the, uh, the GoPro commercial made it good look stuff, a lot faster. Stuff. Oh. There we go. Oof. Okay. Oh. Now let's go back. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, mind you, my feet hurt. Oh. I know. Oh. It's like skiing in glue. That's what it feels like. Way too much friction. Yeah. Frank, some more up there. You can see the ski trails though. So cool. Oh. Oh. So overall, the novelty of the experience was definitely worth it. But compared to normal skiing, it kind of really sucks. What do you think, Frank? Yeah. Oh He's so tired. Oh. Yeah, I would not, probably not do it again unless I was with someone who never did it. Or somebody drag us up. Unless you drag, yeah, yeah, a ski lift. Yeah. If they had a ski lift, I'd do it. But man, climbing up the sand was so tiring. And I mean, that's gonna be like cross country skiing or like, Oh, back in the skiing, so you're just as tired. Yeah, but at least you have skis that are made for it. We had to carry them on our backs and through the sand, which is tough. So we made it. Yep. We survived, we made it back to the car, and my feet really, really hurt. <laughs> How about you, Frank? How do you feel? Same, he says. Maybe chill tomorrow. Maybe yeah. Tomorrow. tomorrow we're not skiing, we're just taking a break. Oh, this is quite an adventure so far. I think that Frank is gonna drive and I'm just gonna chill in the seat. This is very interesting. The metal, probably the iron in the sand, has gotten stuck to my AirPods where there is magnets in it. I wonder how much you could get. He wants to see. Wow, that's crazy. Wonder how much iron you could pull out of all that sand over there. Mm -hmm.